Has writing a children's picture book always been a dream of yours? Well, in today's video, I'm going to try to help you achieve your dream by giving you seven tips for writing a picture book. So stick around. Hey, Write Writers, it's Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell icon right there. So you get alerted each and every time I put out something new. Becoming an indie author was a huge dream of mine for a long time. And I absolutely love writing and designing children's picture books. But it's a very competitive market. So to increase your chances of self-publishing success, I wanted to share with you some tips I've learned along the way on how to write a children's book. Number one, know your target age. Many people ask me how to write a children's book. And the truth is, children's books is a general grouping it includes books for anyone between the ages of 0 and 17. This includes concept books, picture books, early readers, chapter books, middle grade books, and even young adult. So when you start deciding to write a children's picture book, what age group are you writing it for? This is extremely important not only for writing a good picture book, but it will also help you later on when you're creating your keywords to help you with selling your picture book on Amazon and other platforms. Take for example, my buddy knows letters. While most people may look at this and think it's a picture book, the truth is it's really considered a concept book. What's the difference? The difference is in the targeting. Concept books are typically for children ages zero to three, where picture books like Mimi's Adventure are more for like four to six year olds. Now obviously this doesn't mean that there's no crossover and that parents will probably read picture book to an infant. The key here is that we want to write the children's book with the target audience in mind. Number two, know your target vocabulary. Once you've decided what age group you want to write for, you now can research the vocabulary level of that age group to ensure that you write the perfect picture book for that group. Now, don't get me wrong. It's okay to throw in a couple words that are above the age level as it can make the book even more engaging and actually lead to some great five-star reviews. That said, be sure to use this sparingly because if it's done too much, it can lead to negative reviews. It's a delicate balance. I typically will do no more than two words above the age level of my target audience. Number three, know your target gender. Are you writing a picture book for boys? Writing a picture book for girls? Or are you planning on writing a book for boys and girls? This is important as it will help determine the gender of your main character. People like to relate to their main character, and by writing your picture book with the target gender in mind, you can increase your chances of an enjoyable story. Also, your target gender may affect the theme of your picture book. Side note, kids love animals, so animals as main characters are pretty popular. But just remember, animal or not, there's typically still a gender. Number four, know your target length. When asked how long should my picture book be, my answer is almost always the same. As a general rule of thumb, children's picture books are typically between 24 and 36 pages long. That said, the best way to determine your length of book is similar to any other type of book you may self-publish. Go on to Amazon and check out 10 to 20 books that you would consider to be competition. Make sure you're picking ones that are actually selling. You can tell by looking at the BSR or bestseller ranking. If there is no BSR, the book's not selling. Now that you've looked at these, See what the average page length is. Now, if you already have a story in mind, don't let the average length deter you from experimenting on the length of your book. Number five, know your competition. Now that you've found 10 to 20 selling competitors, check out the look inside feature for their books. Get a feel for what they're doing, their characters, their words, etc. Then scroll down and check out the reviews. Check out the five star reviews to see what people like so that way you know what kind of elements to include in your book. Then go down and check out the one and two star reviews so you can see what readers didn't like about those books so you know how to make your picture book better. Number six, know your words. As I stated earlier, knowing the vocabulary level of your ideal audience is a huge advantage to having success as a picture book author. That said, you really want to pick your words and sentences wisely. Many people think that writing a picture book is easy because there's so few words. But the opposite is actually true. Because there are so few words, it's even more imperative to ensure that the words you do use are spot on. And number seven, know your limitations. 
I strongly suggest to try and avoid writing picture books that rhyme, at least not for your first few books. While it seems to be a very common desire to write picture books that rhyme, the truth is it's seldom done right. The reason is that while you may write your picture book with a certain rhythmic pattern in mind, that doesn't mean that the reader will read it that same way. And unless they read it with the exact same pattern that you intended, it won't flow properly and will simply just seem a little off. That's probably why Dr. Seuss had to make up so many words in order to ensure that the intended rhythm was met regardless of the reader. Writing the picture book is just one step in the process. In fact, I created a playlist where I show you step by step how to create a children's picture book with and without bleed in PowerPoint. I even show you how to create the picture book cover. So go on and click this video right here so you can get started on creating your children's picture book and seeing your dreams come true. Or you can click over here and see what YouTube has queued up for you. I'll see you in the next video and remember to write right.